Live from Room 105, it's the Floyd Anderson Show. And now here's Floyd. And now it's Megan Somerset starring Megan Somerset as herself. No, it's Chris Milroy studying. Oh yeah, Herman Gehring. No, A E A. Courtney. Her number is four seven six three eight. Don't you wish you knew? Five, four, three. Hi, I'm Megan Somerset and I have your WTMR announcements for today. Attention Freshman Class Executive Board. There will be a meeting Tuesday, November 25th at 7 a.m. It will be held in room TC CTC 231. All freshmen are urged to attend. Thanksgiving dinner is being served today in the cafeteria. Come join us in our feast. Don't forget to go home over the weekend and clean out your dressers and closets for the Class of 99 clothes drive. Remember, whipped cream December 5th. Mrs. Kohler's class is currently in the lead. Seniors who still owe money for the fundraiser, get your money immediately to Mrs. Carnoa in room 125. Auditions for the spring musical Guys and Dolls will be held on Tuesday, December 9th in the auditorium. You may pick up sheet music for the audition in the choir room. This music will help familiarize you with the show and will be used in the audition. Now stay tuned next for Kirk and his weather forecast. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Who? Can you what? hear me now? Did I'm talking something? to the man. <laughs> well, hello again everybody, and one word describes this forecast. Well, actually two words. In my opinion, boring. But it's also going to warm up and be a little bit more sunny for us as we head into the rest of this week and the weekend and next week. As we look at these seven day forecasts and the warm up I spoke of is quite evident. Well, it's almost time for the holidays, Derek. Yes, yes it is. Are you thankful for anything? Well, uh, I'm thankful for you. And I'm thankful for you being my co-host. Let's start over. Hello, it's almost time for the holidays. Happy Thanksgiving, all you viewers out there. Are you ready? Well, are you thankful for anything? <laughs> 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 well, it's almost time for the holidays. Happy Thanksgiving, all you viewers out there. So, Derek, are you thankful for anything this Thanksgiving? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I'm thankful for you being my co-host. And I'm thankful for you. I love you, man. I love you too, man. And you know, I'm really also thankful for uh, Nick and Danita. We yeah. really love them too. They're great people. Yeah, they're, they're going to be coming up next, as a matter of fact. Stay tuned. Hi. Nick and Danita will be here in a few minutes, but first we have Kirk with his first in a series on El Nino. The first question being, what is El Nino? Before I answer that question, Brian and Derek went around Whitmer asking that same question. Hi. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kirk. Stay tuned for a future broadcast of uh, El Nino. Okay. Thanks, Kirk. Stay tuned for more broadcasts on El Nino. Now here's Nick and Danita. Hello, I'm Brian Whelan, and you may have noticed we're here in the library today. We'll have more on that later. For now, here's your announcements. Just a reminder to students that auditions for the spring musical Guys and Dolls will take place today. Callbacks will take place on Tuesday and Wednesday. Be sure, be sure to send a holiday beanie baby to your friends or sweetheart this holiday season. They are sold every lunch hour for only $5. <laughs> <Sale>. <laughs> The school store is open Tuesday and Thursday, 4B and 6B, before, before the holiday break, for your shopping convenience. Boxers, t-shirts, mugs, caps, and stocking stuffers are available at reasonable prices. And now here's Derek with Mrs. Ziegler. Thanks, Lisa. Now we're here with the librarian, Mrs. Ziegler. This is a very nice library you have here, but what it... Uh... Man. Thanks, Lisa. Now we're here with the librarian, Mrs. Ziegler. What us at WTMR are wondering, 
with us at WTMR. Thank you, Lisa. We're here with Mrs. Ziegler, the librarian. WTMR was wondering, how do students actually learn to use the library? Every student comes in as a freshman with their English class and um, has an orientation session in which they learn the rules, uh, where things are in the library. They have a scavenger hunt where they have to uh, find different books, magazines, and newspapers that acquaints them with everything in the library. Hi, I have here with me Mrs. Maxfield and Miss. Okay. Five, four. <laughs> Hi, I have here with me Mrs. Maxwell and Mrs. Johnson. So, how All right, Joseph. Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be on day. TV boopers yeah. tonight. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hey, this sure. is great. This is great. Okay. Okay. Ready? Five, four. Hi, I have here with me Mrs. Maxwell and Mrs. Johnson. Joseph. Joseph, give me a pen. I'm going to write this no, down. No, no, you're going to do it this time. You're a pro. Joseph. 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 I'll remember. This is Joseph. Okay. okay. Ready? Hi, I have here with me Mrs. Maxwell and Mrs. Joseph. So, how many books do you guys have in this library? Uh, approximately 13,000. That's a lot of books. Now, let's say uh, I want to get this book out. What would I have to do? Well, the first thing you have to do is have your ID ready and just bring the books up to the counter, fill out the card, and you're ready to check them out. Now students are allowed four books. Thanks. And now, it is time for WTMR, the Wit Reviews Channel. Oh. 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 Oh.